let me ask you this. Have you ever had a day when you've just felt really felt really frustrated um, and just things aren't going to plan and, and it's just one thing after another? I've had one of those days and it started this morning when I woke up so tired. Um, I've been um, looking after this one because she's not been very well um, and so work's moved to um, work's moved to, to the late hours of the night and the early hours of the morning and um, and actually I had a really unproductive night last night, I just kept hitting brick walls and just getting stuck so I felt like I hadn't really achieved anything and then I went to bed late, woke up this morning just thinking oh what have I done, I'm so tired and then of course you added on top of that um, you know, when, my, when my daughter starts coughing and there's nothing I can do about it and she's just crying because it hurts and I just feel so frustrated and so helpless and you know what, it's easy to mo be motivated when you're fired up and, and it's easy to be productive when you're motivated and you're fired up. But what do you do about the times when just circumstances happen and, and they, it just feels like you just keep wading in treacle or you take one step forwards and two steps back and, and you're just in that place of frustration. And so here's what I did today because uh, I don't like getting stuck there, I don't like getting stuck in that place of frustration but it does happen, I can't pretend it's not there so this is what I did, first of all um, you have to let it out so I did have a moment of going ah! and just kind of ranting and just letting out that frustration, expressing that frustration um, and actually that happened when I came downstairs and um, I saw the leftovers from last night that I had been intending to save for the kids and that would have probably covered a couple of meals for them and I, they were out on the side, I forgot to put it in the freezer and, and so that was my moment of, um, of frustration and then okay the second thing I did is, um, is this, I'll show you actually it's just been undone again but this is what I did, I just started folding laundry Okay, it's not much, it's not going to take me closer to my work goals, but it's taking action. And sometimes when you're stuck in that place of frustration, you just need to take some kind of action to get you moving again. And so that's the second thing I did, I took some kind of action. And the third thing you need to do um, is, is you do need to go back to your work goals, go back to the thing that, um, or, yeah, the thing that you're, you're trying to work towards, the thing that you're feeling stuck on. Because um, there's no point just doing laundry all the time. It's not going to get me close, closer to my work goals. So, um, yeah, so, so there are a couple of things that I know I need to do um, when the kids go to bed tonight of, um, to help me get unstuck, to help me move forward. And rather than focusing on all the things that I feel I can't do or I'm stuck on or it's not working, it's actually just to look at what I can do, look at where I can get some ideas from, where I can get some help from and just look at ways that I can start taking steps forward and keep going and keep you know, keep taking action towards it and I know I will get there because um, if nothing else I've committed to it um, I, Carrie Wilkerson, I'm in a mastermind group, she sets us a challenge to launch a product in 30 days and actually I chose the 4th of May which is less than 30 days because that's my birthday and now that I'm telling you that's holding me accountable so I will get it done, you will be seeing something from me on the 4th of May, um, but in the meantime, if you're having a frustrating day, don't hold it in, let it out, get it out of your system, do something, take some kind of action just to get yourself out of that place of frustration and get moving. And then look at what you can do, um, however small, to help you to move forward on your goals. So if that's resonated with you, um, Go to the comments box below, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, I'll see you next time.